What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, we have a lot of important things to go over. Now, yesterday we talked a little bit about this FTX and Binance situation, and we're going to be going over a little bit of the developments that happened today. Now, regardless of what's really going to happen with FTX, Binance, we still don't really know the entire full picture, but we've seen the reaction from crypto markets. And what we said yesterday, remember, is that if this deal does not go through, we're most likely going to see more pain. And who does that really hurt? Well, it's going to be the people who have invested in the crypto market. Now, again, when you see this happen, it's going to affect the equity market too, which again, we have a lot of crazy catalysts coming up tomorrow, which we also have to go over as well. So again, guys, before we get into all of that information, if you do enjoy the information and analysis that I provide for you guys in these videos here, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it. It also lights up now, which is pretty cool, um, but it really helps us get this information out to as many people who want to learn. And again, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos like this now coming over and taking a look at the chart of the spy here going into cpi we closed the day today at right around 374 now looking at this right here we are essentially in a little bit of no man's land we have ripped up from the lows we've sold off we've ran back up did not necessarily get up to those previous highs that we were seeing on that last little rally up and now we are sitting right in the middle now when we go over some of the data that we could be seeing tomorrow from the CPI, you also have to understand that we have a jobs report tomorrow too. And what people are really going to be looking for out of this CPI report is, well, what are we going to see out of the Fed going in December, which we're going to talk about a little bit later in this video here. Now, again, if you look at this on the five minute time frame here, there was a lot of money to be made on the SPY today. Perfect 200 EMA rejection right here. And then after some more news came out about this Binance and FTX situation, we just saw a massive cascading wave down in a lot of our members were able to take full advantage of these crazy moves here 33 percent on the day soccer surfer red ape 11 percent trade the trends 35 percent on the day that's insane again guys i can show you guys gains on gains on gains the results speak for themselves the system behind 1348 remember it's just the core we have those proprietary trading algorithms the only ones out for retail investors right now if you guys do want to actually take control of your portfolios hold yourselves accountable and get that discipline that you need to be a successful trader. Make sure you guys check out that link down below. Now, going over and taking a look at what happened with the dollar today, it was incredibly volatile. So the dollar ended up going up about 0.74%, and we did see a lot of volatility out of the 10-year treasury yield here. Now, there was an auction today, and that did play into some of this volatility with the 10-year, but again, when we're thinking about that TLT play uh, based on these bond yields that I did make a video about, it's going to take a lot of time in order for these bonds to really pick a trend. Now, remember, the expectation for when that TLT play could be happening is going to be mid to late next year, just because we have to get to the terminal Fed funds rate first. And we have no idea really where that's going to be until we receive more data and actually go through a couple of more rate hikes here. But looking at what we could see going into tomorrow's cpi october cpi may solidify a case for a terminal rate above five percent now for those of you guys that are a little bit confused terminal rate all that means is the highest that the federal funds rate is going to go before we stop increasing and maybe even actually do some emergency rate cuts. A fresh government inflation reading in U.S. midterm elections are the most highly anticipated events on Wall Street's radar this week as investors continue to digest the Fed's latest interest rate decision. Thursday morning will bring, tra uh, will bring traders the closely watched consumer price index for October. Economists surveyed by Bloomberg see headline CPI at an annual 7.9% for the month, um, a moderation from September's year-over-year -year increase of about 8%. 8.2%. Core CPI, which strips out the volatile food and energy components of the measure, is projected to come in at 6.5%, little change from the 6.6% last month. Now, if we do end up seeing hot CPI, really anything above 7.9% in that 8% range. Remember, last uh, last month, the year-over-year -year increase was about 8.2%. So if we're above 7.9%, we're probably going to see a little bit of a sell-off. If we're above 8.2%, we're probably going to see an aggressive sell-off. And when we come over here and take a look at this Fed Watch tool, well, currently, we're, we have about a 56.8% probability that we're going to get a 50 basis point rate hike in December. Now, does this mean that's the pivot? No, that's not the pivot. We have not seen the data really giving us 
that light at the end of the tunnel yet where we could say, yes, things have kind of started to come in the right direction and the Fed can stop raising rates and maybe even bring those rates down. We have a 43.2% probability of a 75 basis point rate hike uh, in December here. And tomorrow is going to give us a really important indication of what this rate hike is most likely going to be. These probabilities are going to fly all over the place, and that is going to be driving price action tomorrow. So get ready. It's going to be increasingly volatile tomorrow morning. And we also have the jobs report here too. So if we end up seeing lower than expected jobless claims, meaning that less people are filing for unemployment benefits in the United States, it means unemployment isn't increasing uh, as much as the Fed would really like it to be. Now, if that happens and you get a hot CPI, we're going to see a pretty aggressive sell off. Now, if it's a mix of the two, you could see some volatility. And if you see higher than expected jobless claims in a beat on CPI, well, then coming back over to this Fed watch tool right here, the probability for a 50 basis point rate hike is going to shoot up. And we could actually see a little bit of a market bounce. Is it going to be short lived? I think so. In general, the data isn't really going to be telling us anything is really getting all that much better. Now, Going over and taking a look at this Binance situation right here and going off of the title of this video, Retail Investors Just Got Annihilated, Binance abandons the FTX deal beyond our ability to help. Binance has confirmed in a statement on Twitter that it will walk away from the FTX rescue deal. The decision comes after the initial due diligence. As a result of corporate due diligence, as well as the latest news reports regarding mishandled customer funds and alleged U.S. agency investigations, we have decided that we will not pursue the potential acquisition of FTX.com. They went on to say, in the beginning, our hope was to be able to support FTX's customers to provide liquidity, but the issues are beyond our control or ability to help. Every time a major player in an industry fails, retail investors or retail consumers will suffer. We have seen over the last several years that, crypt, uh, that the crypto ecosystem is becoming more resilient, and we believe in time that outlayers that misuse uh, user funds will be weeded out by the free market. Now, when we come over here and actually take a look at what Bitcoin has actually done over these last couple of days here, well, let me pull this up really quickly right here. You're seeing a very, very sharp and significant decrease from where it was currently trading a couple of days ago here. If you look at this right here, you're seeing Bitcoin was trading at around 21,387. Now it's just cracked below that $16,000 threshold. That is a very significant decrease here. Now, the other problem is, is that if you've been invested um, or have your coins on FTX or any of these other brokerages that have gone down over the last year, well, then your money could be gone. So retail investors are getting hurt and it doesn't really have anything to do with what's actually going on fundamentally with the crypto market. Yes, we are in a bear market right now and it's very possible that we would, would have gotten to these types of levels here. But at the same time, these companies and these large organizations, it does essentially kind of give way to a lot more regulation coming to these brokerages in the crypto space. Should that happen? Well, you can be on either side of the coin. Crypto does aim to be uh, a decentralized uh, currency, uh, form of exchange, anything that you want to call it. But at the same time, if you're going to see these types of volatile price movements across the board, well, there's a risk reward trade off there. And a lot of investors or everyday people are going to see that as a very, very key risk that if you're going to be investing on any one of these exchanges or platforms, it's very possible that all of that money could go to zero. Now, I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen with FTX. Over the past couple of days, we've actually seen things that have actually pointed otherwise. But with Three Arrows Capital, Voyager, Celsius, and a couple of these other brokerages uh, that that has actually happened with, well, this is going to cause a lot of fear in the crypto market that this is to come. And you can see these sell-offs like this. So again, guys, make sure that you are protecting yourself in the crypto space and tying this back to the equity market as well. Remember, Coinbase, Mara, Riot, a um, couple of the other Bitcoin ETFs as well are going to be moving based on these movements in the crypto space. And again, when we see these large moves in crypto, it's going to affect the equity market as well. But in general, what's going to be happening tomorrow uh, and what the market's really going to be bracing for? CPI in the jobs report. So guys, that is going to wrap up this video here. If you did enjoy the information and analysis that I provided for you guys in this one, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who actually want to learn. And if you guys do want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. So I hope you guys are having a great evening. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.